Welcome to my channel. If you're looking to deepen your understanding of DNS attacks, you're in the right place. Today, we're exploring some of the most common DNS attacks you'll encounter in cybersecurity. Understanding these attacks is crucial for building robust defenses and staying ahead of cyber criminals. Let's dive in. First up, we have DNS spoofing, also known as cache poisoning. Imagine you're trying to visit your favorite website, but instead, you land on a malicious site designed to steal your data. That's DNS spoofing in action. In 2010, a cache poisoning attack redirected users from popular sites like Google and Facebook to fake websites, leading to widespread phishing attacks. The attackers corrupted the DNS cache with false information, misdirecting users. As cybersecurity professionals, our job is to implement DNSSEC, or DNS security extensions, to verify the integrity of DNS responses and prevent such attacks. Next is DNS tunneling. DNS tunneling is like sneaking through a tunnel under a heavily guarded border. It allows attackers to bypass network security measures by encapsulating malicious data within DNS queries and responses. In 2017, the Seamless campaign used DNS tunneling to exfiltrate data from organizations worldwide. To detect and mitigate DNS tunneling, we need to monitor DNS traffic for unusual patterns and use deep packet inspection. Domain lockup attack is another threat to be aware of. In a domain lockup attack, attackers exploit vulnerabilities in the domain registration process to lock up a domain, making it inaccessible to legitimate users. In 2018, several cryptocurrency websites were targeted, causing significant disruptions and financial losses. To prevent such attacks, ensure that your domain registrar offers strong security features, like multi-factor authentication and domain lock services. Now let's talk about DNS hijacking. DNS hijacking occurs when attackers take control of the DNS settings for a domain, redirecting traffic to malicious sites. This technique was infamously used by Iranian hackers in 2019, who hijacked the DNS of multiple companies to steal credentials and sensitive data. To safeguard against DNS hijacking, regularly audit your DNS records, use strong passwords, and enable two-factor authentication for your DNS management accounts. Phantom domain attack is another sneaky tactic. Here, attackers create non-existent domains to overload DNS resolvers causing delays and potential denial-of-service attacks. The 2016 Dean cyber attack is a prime example, where major internet services like Twitter and Netflix were severely disrupted. To combat phantom domain attacks, it's essential to implement rate limiting and use DNS resolvers that can handle high query volumes. Botnet-based CPE attack is particularly dangerous. In this attack, cybercriminals use botnets to target customer premises equipment, like routers, overwhelming them with DNS requests and causing disruptions. The Mirai botnet attack in 2016 exploited vulnerable IoT devices, leading to massive internet outages across the United States. To defend against such attacks, secure your IoT devices with strong passwords, regular firmware updates, and network segmentation. An NX domain attack targets DNS servers directly. Attackers flood the server with queries for non-existent domains, consuming resources and potentially leading to service degradation or outages. In 2020, NX domain attacks disrupted DNS services for several major organizations. To mitigate this, implement caching strategies and monitor DNS traffic for spikes in NX domain responses. Finally, there's the random subdomain attack. In this attack, hackers generate numerous random subdomains, 
overwhelming DNS resolvers, and causing a denial-of-service condition for legitimate users. A significant instance was the 2015 attack on a major financial institution, disrupting their online services. To protect against random subdomain attacks, use DNS rate limiting and anomaly detection systems to identify and block suspicious traffic. Understanding these DNS attacks is crucial for defending against them. Implementing strong security measures and staying informed about the latest threats can make all the difference. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cybersecurity insights and tutorials.